sleep paralysis is one of those things that a lot of people don't really understand how it works. And there's a few reasons for that. I think a large percentage of people, when they hear about sleep paralysis, they they assume it's something like from a horror film. And that's not really the truth. The truth about sleep paralysis is that it's an essential thing that happens when you go to sleep. If you didn't have sleep paralysis, if you were able to physically act out your dreams, you'd hurt yourself. And this is this is one of the crazy things that I don't understand. People just seem to think sleep paralysis is like this terrible, scary thing from a horror movie, but it's really important because without that sleep paralysis, you'd be kicking around, you know, punching your walls, you'd be hurting yourself. It's meant to happen. It's, it's a natural part of sleeping and of dreaming. If you don't want sleep paralysis, then there are some things you can do to avoid it or to reduce it, but I wouldn't advise them. And here's why. And I'm going to explain in a second why sleep paralysis is so important and how you can use it to lucid dream. But here's why I would not avo avoid it. There are lots of experiences, especially dream-related experiences and things like nightmares and things where it might be unpleasant to experience, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't experience it. In the same way that when you go through life, there are things that might you might not enjoy them, but they're still important to experience and they're an important part of your growth. Because if you've never had a nightmare, then you don't appreciate when you can avoid a nightmare. You don't appreciate when as much when you have an exciting pleasure dream or a lucid dream. You don't appreciate it as much if you've never had a nightmare. And this is just my opinion at least. Now, here's how you can turn sleep paralysis into a lucid dream. There's a few there's a few ways of doing this, okay? Uh, it's actually kind of easy. And when I tell you, you're going to be wondering, why didn't I think of that? Because there's a lot of aspects of lucid dreaming, a lot of different parts of it that don't have to be as difficult as you're making them. Most of you are making this hard for yourself. You're making this difficult, much more difficult than it needs to be. Here's how you stop sleep paralysis, okay? To stop it completely, you just close your eyes. To turn it into, turn it into a lucid dream, you constantly do reality checks throughout the day. Eventually they'll show up in your dreams, but also you need to visualize being in sleep paralysis during the day. Set an alarm on your phone to go off every five minutes or so, okay? And every time it goes off, you should lay down, visualize or imagine that you're in sleep paralysis, and then also visualize escaping that sleep paralysis and becoming lucid in the dream. It's a really powerful tip, and it's a good way of, you know, practicing escaping sleep paralysis. You should be more worried if you're not sleeping at all. Because when you're not sleeping, your immune system is going to be lower, which, you know, coronavirus and all that is not good to have a weak immune system at the moment. Um, you should be worried about your sleep quality. Oh, and if you do want to boost your immune system, by the way, I'm going to be posting a video soon on my other channel, which is Transcend Your Limits, which you can find in my uh, channel sidebar thing. Seriously, I'd really appreciate if you would go and follow me there. I post I post as often there as I do on this channel, by the way. <laughs> so if you want more videos, that's that's where you should go. But I think one of the reasons people are so scared of uh, sleep paralysis is because people read online about stories, about horror stories, about things like the sleep paralysis demon. And I'm sure you've heard of them too, right? The shadow man, the hat man, uh, this scary kind of demon figure which appears over you when you're sleeping. But that isn't a real thing. It's a hallucination or a dream. It's a part of your dream or your, you know, your dreaming mind. It's not real. And there's so many people that are scared of this thing and it stops them from wanting to learn how to lucid dream, even though it's not a real thing. It's not a real experience. It feels real, but it's not actually gonna hurt you and it's definitely not really in your room with you.